So when I'm looking at someone, I look at non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. They're aggressive and non-aggressive because they're sure. monocontrolable as well. Yeah. And then the second... My name is Dinesh Devendranathan. I'm a cardiologist and I'm the director of the Tetrarchus program in cardiotoxicity prevention. The program has brought together a, a set of individuals who have expertise in the care of patients who are receiving cancer therapy, and that is a unique knowledge that's required. So we understand the cancer therapies that are provided, some of the alternate therapies, the alternative therapies that are available for these patients, as well as understanding the urgency of the cardiovascular care that's often needed. Patients who are run out of uh, traditional therapy and need novel therapies, uh, such as sort of new drugs that are being studied, uh, sometimes will need our care, especially if they have got cardiovascular dysfunction or if they have cardiovascular abnormalities which need to be sorted out before they participate in clinical trials. With respect to the uniqueness of our program, I think the biggest strength is that we are wedged right in between um, two important centers. One is the Hospital for Sick Children, where patients with pediatric malignancies are cared for, and some of these patients will develop cardiovascular complications and will require long-term management. And these patients are often referred to our program for long-term long care. Uh, then we have Princess Margaret Hospital, which is one of the world's leading cancer centers, uh, both clinically as well as with respect to research. And we have the opportunity to interact with Princess Margaret Hospital with respect to patients, looking at some of the novel therapies that are being used in cancers, as well as some of the cardiovascular complications associated with it. Dr. Amir Eaton is an oncologist uh, at uh, Princess Margaret Hospital focused on the treatment of patients with breast cancer and has been our most um, important collaborator across the street. There are a group of patients in whom optimal cancer therapy does require some form of medication that is cardiotoxic and by an ability to stabilize the heart through prevention strategies which we really rely on our cardiology colleagues to help with, we're able to maintain the cancer therapy to its optimal um, strategy. I think what we have right now which is a systematic program which addresses not just uh, the reactive nature but also tries to identify patients at risk uh, with an early initiation of preventive strategies It's really re helped us um, both in terms of the clinical need as well as uh, going into the elements of research and also education.